Hey there, Geeks. Tim Tibbetts here with MajorGeeks.com. And today we're going to look at Microsoft Windows Defender Threat Service has stopped. You could have a yellow exclamation point. You could have a red X. There's a yellow exclamation point. And you may get error message say threat service is stopped. Virus protection is turned off. This happens a lot when you uninstall an antivirus let Windows Defender take over. It also happens if you had a virus or malware because it just doesn't re-enable it because that malware or virus actually disabled your antivirus. So it's not hard to do. Any skill level can do this. Here we go. Highlight this code here. You can find a link to this page in the video description. If you don't see it, please expand the text. You only see so much text in the YouTube video description. Let's open the registry editor, Windows key plus R. Type in R-E-G-E-D-I-T and go ahead and press enter or click on OK. Click yes here. You probably have just the word computer here, which is pretty normal if you don't use a registry editor. You're basically way back up here. So that's normally what you see. So let's clear this out. Just kind of drag your mouse across it and press Control-V. We are looking for disable anti-spyware key. And again, that's why I tell you it's easy. You may not have this here. I didn't. So I'm just going to show you what happens later. If this doesn't work for you, just delete it. Piece of cake. So what we're looking for is to create a new key and making sure that the value data is zero. If you already had that key, we'll show you what to do with that. New D word 32 bit value. No, you do not need 64 bit value regardless whether you're a 32 bit or 64 bit operating system. D word 32 bit value. Click on that and control V to paste in disable anti spyware if you're typing it. Capital D, capital A, capital S. Press enter. Now when you create the new key, your value data should be zero. That's this right here, the single zero. If you had this key, it may say one and that would be your problem right there. So you, if you had the key already, you take that one, change it to zero. There you go. And as I mentioned earlier, now you can see if it doesn't help you, you can either click the delete key or highlight and click delete. Very little chance of doing any damage. You can always back up your registry editor by file export. So you can actually just export this key because that's what's highlighted, making it easy to reconnect and import it later and restore it. But simply deleting it should be good enough. Now that we've got that done, we want to try and turn it back on now. So let's go back. There it is. Let's click turn on. There you go. So you're probably going to see virus and threat, threat blah, blah, blah. Let's try it again. Virus and threat protection quick scan do. Go ahead and click scan now, which actually ironically doesn't scan now. Okay. So you go ahead here and you click quick scan. The reason for this is if you had a, a virus or malware, it's quite possible that it's disabled so all of a sudden it hasn't run in so long and it's expecting to run so go ahead and take the time to do that and that will clear everything out especially if you still have the yellow icon here there's another way to do this as mentioned here if you scroll down while we're here virus and threat protection settings manage settings make sure real-time protection is on and actually everything here should be on you don't have to have sample submission on but you should have everything else you see here on real time, cloud delivered, and tamper protection. Make sure they're on. So they could cause you another problem if your error didn't completely go away yet. Worst case scenario, you may have to reboot and see if that worked. And if it doesn't, come back to this step and try and turn it on again because you do have the registry key already. So you don't have to repeat everything, but reboot and try turn on. So. That should do it. We've had really good success with this, everybody, except for the fact that the last time I did this guiding video, I forgot to show you how to create the register key, and that's resolved. Down the bottom right, Major Geeks icon showing up. Click that. You subscribe if you like. If we helped you out, click like. If we didn't fix your problem, you have any other suggestions, let me know, because now that we have this guide to go along with it, and you're watching the video, you can come here, and anything that needs to be updated will be updated as needed. Thanks for watching, as always. See ya.